Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here. I've gotten a few requests for an iron farming guide, and here it is. An iron farming run that hits 47 iron nodes in under 15 minutes real time. This playback is at double speed, which is the most efficient iron farming run in the game, at least from what I have seen. So the secret to this is using your mount to quickly cover distance. Here are the first two nodes. And if you don't like using your mount for some reason, this probably isn't the best farming run for you. In that case, I'd recommend the next best one, which is located in Hamptonshire, starting from the high point north of Winchester that I used in my tungsten farming guide. I'll link a run of that below in the description. Here's the map for this one. It starts near the dock of Wyke and follows the coast until the most eastern tip where there's a shipwreck and a special bonus node that Eivor will collect. That is not iron. See if you can guess what it is. And you should see these iron nodes in the same place as in this video, but the amount of iron you'll get from each one can vary. For this run, I averaged 11 iron ore per node. It seems to be random whether you get one, two, or three clusters, and each cluster can have five, six, or seven iron. However, I have gotten comments on my other videos that some people are getting lower amounts of materials than I am, like five leather from one bear instead of 50. So it may vary depending on your level. So if you're seeing much lower numbers than me, that's probably why. But anyway, my total iron for this run was 515. So over 500 iron ore in less than 15 minutes, that's over 2000 per hour. And this run is deceiving because as you can see, there's a lot more iron up ahead now that we've gotten going. There's more iron nodes in the second half of this run than there are in the first half. So, oh, and I just got hit by a deer. That was pretty funny. Um, there are a couple wolves up ahead that you might run into, but other than a deer and a couple wolves, there are no enemies on this run. So even though Yurvik Shire is a high power area, there are no enemies, so you should be in good shape regardless of your level. So you'll get a little extra leather by taking out these wolves, or you can try to ride past them if you want. And so here, the trick is to just go up onto this ledge to get the nodes up here. And this is the only time you'll have to climb up the cliff. And that's one of the reasons this run is so fast is because it's pretty much, except for this part, it's all horizontal. You're just covering horizontal distance with your mount instead of having to cover a lot of vertical distance like some of the other iron farming locations that are deceptive because it looks like they have a lot of iron in one area, but then you have to climb up and down and up and down the cliffs to get them, whereas here you can just ride straight for them. And now we're getting to the part where there's three nodes. And so there is another little trick you can try to make this uh, more interesting if you want. You can actually break the iron with your horse. I'm breaking them here with my daggers but if you ride over them with your horse, you can break it with your horse and you can actually loot from your mount as well. So I find it just easier to get off my horse and get back on again. But if you wanna mess around with that, that's something you can try. Now for these two nodes, I had to go in a little bit and now we're heading in along this cliff
you know, notice I try to get my horse as close as I can to the nose. And so now we're going to follow the cliff to the left a little bit towards the other side of the peninsula. So I'm only going to go to the tip of the peninsula. I'm not going to go all the way around the coast. Because by the time I get to the end, the nodes will have respawned and I can go back to the beginning. So that's the other cool thing about this run is it's actually a loop. It's actually a continuous loop that if you save and reload your game at the end, you can go back to the beginning and start again. And I will show you that. And that was the 40th node. We have seven more. One, two, three. Two more over here, four, five, and then there are two more at the end. Although you'll notice I mark three. And now you see what the secret node was that I mentioned. So we have two iron nodes and the third node out here is titanium. So there is a bonus titanium node here at the Kilsey shipwreck. So our last two iron nodes, and then right up ahead is a titanium node. And so that completes the run. And if you want to do it again, you can save your game. I did a quick save using down on the D-pad and then load your game. I find this helps the nodes to respawn, but if you find that you go back to the beginning and the nodes haven't respawned, you could try traveling out of the region to a different location and then back here. But I find if I save and reload my game and go back to the start, I usually don't need to do that. Another trick you can use if you want is you can park your ship right near the first uh, two iron nodes over here, and you can fast travel back to your longship instead of going back to the dock. And I've been using my raven to mark the nodes so you can see better where they are, but once you get to know the route, you might not need to. And there they are. The first two nodes have respawned. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay.